Yes, we're back on Girl Talk. Who knew, right? We're back. Ian, we have been joined by friend, Sean, Custom Audio Video. Thank uh, you so much. This is really fun to do it here today. We oftentimes mm. do one segment, but I feel like we're kind of in a living room and really it's enjoying nice. ourselves. Yeah, yeah. So thank you, thank you. I wouldn't really call him a friend though. You know, he's, a, he's just a colleague. A co yeah. Well, colleague, what do you do in this um, system here? Yeah, so I oversee our showroom here. So if you come on in, you know, I'll be here waiting for you uh, anytime during the week. Mm -hmm. And then kind of just promote the, the company to the community, to industry professionals. Um, just trying to put a good face out there. If for you us. haven't been to the showroom, it's worth, you and I talk about this a lot, mm. it's really worth coming to because you'll walk in and you'll see beautiful artwork and you'll see some interesting and diverse sculptures and pieces, but don't let that confuse you. You have to ask the questions. Well, part of our showroom is, I think, is it's an idea room. There's yes. a lot of stuff that we do that a lot of people don't think about. Mm -hmm. um, and I think we're going to kind of explore mm. one of those topics today as well. Yeah, it's interesting. It looks like artwork in the showroom, but there's something hidden behind it. It's not really just artwork. So. Well, talk but to us. But we're not going to talk about that. We're okay. going to talk about something else, mm -hmm. I think. Yeah. Um, one thing that, that, that we do at Custom Audio Video is not known to most of our clients, and that would be calibration. Mm -hmm. uh, both audio and video, although video is much more difficult now with the 4K and higher resolution. What does that even mean, calibration? All right. So. Yeah. Sean, you want to tell us something? Yeah, so if you think about uh, a sound system, right? Okay. You, you're wanting to get uh, maybe reference level sound, which is you want to hear as close to what the director, uh, the, the audio mixing in a movie or TV show, as close to what they want you to hear as possible. Got for it. the best experience, right? Sure. If you think about a great sure. movie theater, great sound. Um, but the problem is not every room is exactly the same. So there's ways to essentially remove the room from the equation. Uh, and the way that you do that is you calibrate the system well. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, we, we, we use a system, um, there's a few ways to do it actually, okay. but we use one we've started to use recently be, that, that's come to the fore and we really like it called Dirac Live. Mm -hmm. So... What is that? Yeah, so Dirac <clears throat> is a software that's built into some of uh, the processors that we use that process the sound. Okay. And what Dirac is, is you, you connect it to a, a program okay. and then you're using a microphone in the room and uh, our guys are trained on it to come out in the room. And they'll set microphones, so if Ian was the, the kind of the sweet spot in mm -hmm. the room, you're gonna take from different measurements. Maybe a microphone right where his head would be, and then okay. to the left and to the right, a little bit in front. And it's gonna run through sounds through all the speakers. And then it's gonna use that program to figure out what sounds it should be hearing, what sounds it is hearing, frequencies, uh, and then kind of tweak everything to get that sweet spot for the room. So it's a bit more sophisticated than bass and treble. Everybody knows bass and right. treble. Okay, right, okay, that's sort of where so I'm trying to. it's way more sophisticated okay. than that. But the room actually causes reflections mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. makes things sound a bit different from, as Sean said, the director wants you to hear. So am I looking so, for a <clears throat> richness? Is that what this does? Gives me a richness and, and kind of depth to the sound as opposed to just I don't, I don't even know how else to say it, just yeah. kind of a one level. Mm -hmm. well, well, for instance, in the room that we're sitting in now, there's right. a lot of wood walls, okay. which causes a lot of reflections. Okay. And that's gonna cause the sound waves to do things that ne aren't necessarily ideal for a great sound system. Mm -hmm. So with Dirac, mm -hmm. you can tweak certain frequencies, uh, the compute, the program's gonna do it, to tweak certain frequencies to make sure that you're not getting those peaks of certain frequencies or certain frequencies kind of disappearing um, because of the reflections that you're getting off the wall. Is this on music as well, music systems as well as television systems? Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <clears throat> this room we're in right now has a surround sound system in it. Okay, um, which means? There's, there's multiple speakers, speakers around us right okay, now. Okay, okay. Yeah. But we could be in a room next door that only has two. So mm -hmm. that's stereo strictly for music. Uh, so Dirac can definitely be used on either of these systems. The important thing is that not all uh, audio video processor manufacturers employ Dirac in their pieces yet. Okay. So, you know, there's a few that we deal with that do. Um, there's other ways to do the calibration without Dirac if the piece doesn't employ that. So, you know. I need to even bring it back to more basics. That, no, because I think. Yeah, I know. No, because I think when I'm hearing it, it makes me realize that every time I think I get a handle on what you all do, 
okay? You can broaden There's it. There's more to it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And that's where you guys are so, and I don't know how to say this in the right way, but very user friendly. Like, I feel like I'm pretty much the basic lay person, but I know just enough to be dangerous. Now, whenever I come in, I'm actually understanding more the process, because it really is a process to formulate and put together mm -hmm. um, any kind of sound, if you will. Yeah, and, and I think one of the things that we try to do here is not not give you a sound system, but give you the experience that comes with a great surround mm -hmm. sound system or a great stereo system. And part of that is making sure that when you buy great speakers okay. for the quality that they're going to bring, that you're getting the most out of it. And, and I've been taught by Ian, who has taught me from the second we started to do this, <laughs> that it's more about the client and listening to what their needs are than anything yeah, else because absolutely. that and how do you determine that what do i need to come with that would make you better assess what my specific needs are you know um quite often i listen to the clients uh tell me how they live in the house that they have up north or wherever it is okay you know what do they listen to do they like music do they like movies what's the emphasis how do they like to control stuff mm -hmm. and then kind of go all right let me recommend this how does that sound so. And for you too. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's really all about um, us asking those questions, trying to know our customers. Because um, a lot of some people are more visual, some people are more uh, you know, audio based. So it really. Finding and out education is a big part of it too, okay. because lots of people don't even know that some of these things exist. Mm -hmm. you know? Well, that's why I said probably the most fun thing I've ever done is started coming into the showroom. Because every time I come, I see something different. And as a designer, I can go back and say, People say, oh gosh, you know, I don't really want my TV over my fireplace. Or do you? <laughs> you know, it's now that there are so many different things. Yeah. Well, it's always fun to talk to you. And I kind of like the format where you guys are sitting here with us, actually uh, <laughs> engaging as a group. Thank you very much. Stay with us. There's more to come here on Girl Talk.